welcome to Tel Aviv. I am here today with famous Israeli chef, celebrity host Gil Homa, and Gil is going to take me on a tour. I used to be a television chef. I'm an author. Um, I wrote a book, uh, even published in English, called Candies from Heaven. I want to take you on a tour of the Levinsky Market because I think you're going to love it. This is a secret market of Tel Aviv because it's the smallest of the three that we have. But actually, if you really want to buy the special stuff, you come here. It's not a fresh produce market, it's a spice market and dried goods market, but it's really, really cool. We'll do what every Tel Avivian does. We'll shop, eat, drink and have fun. Sounds like a great plan. Let's go. All right, let's go. These are dry cherry tomatoes. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Unsweetened and dry. Why are they called mashhul? Because mashhul in Arabic means unknown. And this was the big <laughs> secret of Iraq. For centuries, they were growing only in Iraq. When Jews really? fled from Iraq to Israel after the establishment of the state in 1948, they smuggled pits of mashhul dates, so dates with them were in the not already growing here? No, they brought them. other 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 brands of dates. Other brands. But okay. this very good brand was only Iraqi. Since the Jews came to Israel from Iraq, Israel has become the biggest mashhul exporter in the world. This is what we eat. It's it's more it's much more simple, tougher. You chew on it, and actually we like it better. And it's also better for cooking because if you cook these, they fall apart. Right, you cook these are these, definitely mushier. Yes, these may be better for cake. So, which is your she, favorite? I like these better. Ah, I she's... like the texture of them. You know what I mean? They're, they melt in your mouth. Yes. Like, it's like a caramel. Yes. So, you're not a falaf, you're not a farmer, you're a <laughs> glamour kitten. This is Persian garlic, Persian Ooh. giant garlic Thank sliced you. and dried. Fish is a very sour Persian cranberry used a lot in Persian cooking. This is when you need color and, and the sourness. These are cantaloupe seeds. With pumpkin you cannot make the pitada. The pitada is the drink that you break the casting of your kippur with. Pepitada, like pepitas. It's made from the pepitas, from the seeds. You soak them in water overnight. Then you put it in a dual processor and then smash it more in, in the mill. Then you squeeze it really tight and then the secret ingredient is shumala or ozone. 